Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration. Now, Mail Merge is not available in Gmail by default, but we can actually use Google Docs to send personalized email messages to any of our Gmail contacts. Let's see how. Now, first you need to log in into your Gmail account. Now, let's say that I've created a new iPhone app, which probably turns any 3G phone into an, a 4G device. And I want to inform everybody in the tech community about this revolutionary thing. So I'll create a new group in my Gmail contacts. Let, let's call this group media. Now, once your Gmail group is created, you need to add contacts to this group. So let's say for this example, I'm adding a lot of tech bloggers and tech columnists to the group so that I can inform them in one shot about the new iPhone app. So I'm not using anyone's real email address here, but just some aliases, which you can do in Gmail, right? So now our Gmail contacts group is ready that has the email addresses and names of all the tech bloggers whom we want to inform about the new iPhone app. So uh, you're done from the Gmail side. Now open your Google Docs account. Open the mail merge spreadsheet. You can find a link to this spreadsheet on my blog. So just create a copy in your own Google Docs account. Now we'll switch to the compact view so that we have more space to work. Now this spreadsheet is just like your regular Google Docs spreadsheet, except that you have a new menu called Mail Merge. For step one, we'll import the Gmail contact. So click that. Now Google Docs will show you a big warning dialog saying that the script is trying to access your Gmail account and trying to send email. So you can probably say okay here. Now go to the Mail Merge menu again and select import Gmail contacts. Now here it will ask you to specify a name of a Gmail group that you want to import. Now you remember we created media. So we'll just type media here and click OK. Now what Google Docs will do is it will connect to your Google contacts and it will fetch a list of all email addresses and names that are part of that group. So now we have everything we need in a Google Docs spreadsheet. We just need to send emails to these people and we can do that using Google Docs itself. But before we send these emails, we need to create a basic email template, right? What matter we want to send to these people. So for that, you just have to fill a couple of fields in the same spreadsheet. Now here it is highlighted in green. So you have subject salutation, the body line one, line two, line three, and all these things. So we'll quickly fill up these. Let's say for subject, we'll say sneak preview iPhone app for salutation. You can say dear Mr. Or anything for this example, we'll say dear and we'll just copy paste the other stuff quickly. So meanwhile, I'll also open my another mailbox where all these messages are expected to arrive. So I'll go to the mail merge spreadsheet again and from mail merge menu, I'll say start mail merge. Now notice uh, at the status messages, they're pen pending at the moment, but now they've turned okay. So that means the emails have been successfully sent. I'll check this, I'll go to my second mailbox and there you see it. So it has, um, only two messages have arrived until now, but the more will come in a minute or so. So these are personalized email messages. Now I'll go to the mailbox again and refresh and see, you see the, all the eight messages have arrived. Now, if Google Docs fails to deliver some of your messages and the status is not okay, you can actually start the mail merge process again, the step two, and it will only work on the pending messages. It won't touch the messages that have already been sent. So your recipients won't receive double messages just because you're doing mail merge again. Also, this only works for Gmail, but if you want to use it with Yahoo Mail or Hotmail, you can simply export the contacts as a CSV file, import it into the spreadsheet and start mail merge. 